Hi, I'm Rod Hiskin. Welcome to the seventh annual Vintage Tractor Days in Oregon House, California, in the beautiful Sierra Foothills. Come with me and let me show you what our tractor show is all about. The tractor show came about about seven years ago, and then I designed it, uh, the things that I like to do when I would go to a tractor show, and so I wanted to have it to be a busy kind of a thing where you went to and you had fun, you did games, and you got to drive your tractor and make some noise, and it was just fun, and so I designed it around that, and I also wanted a, a good quality, clean, family, inexpensive educational experience, so I kind of put those two goals together. and came up with a format that we have. And so this is our seventh year and has proven to be successful. We're growing every single year and we're getting people from several states coming here and it's just a lot of fun. On our first ride, you can follow the hayride wagon with the yellow cover. When you go through the creek, make sure you don't get too close to the person ahead of you because they might stall going up the other side. And so, if everybody would go get their tractors and line up, we'll head them up. The tractor drives that we are doing are basically drives out along back country roads trying to stay out of the traffic and the California Highway Patrol and the Yuba County Sheriff's Office are very, very instrumental along with the local fire department in blocking off the roads and providing safety for us. And it's simply an opportunity for people to go out and drive their tractor and do something with it. I want them to go out and count the flowers and the beer cans and see the beehives and the turkeys in the brush and just have a really good time. Uh, they're out of the way roads and we go on these drives and we have hayride wagons for those people who do not have tractors and I suspect we probably had 70, 80 tractors in a line on the first two drives today easily. And so they're just meant to be for people to enjoy their tractor, enjoy other people to enjoy tractors and just go out and go for a nice leisurely drive in a country road. It's a beautiful time of the year. Well, this tractor is an extremely rare tractor. This is a 1959 John Deere 620 Orchard. They made about 487 John Deere Orchard tractors, 620s from 1956 to 1959. This is one of 29 that was built in 1959. Uh, about 100 of the orchards had propane. This one does not. And this is the only known one in the United States that presently has an operating three-point hitch lift on the back and it also has the hydraulic power steering so this is at least one of 35 maybe even more rare than that when I found the tractor it was sitting in an orchard in an olive orchard uh, didn't have a starter some of the engine parts were gone everything was seized up including the engine and I've had the tractor for about 10 years and we were only able to finish it off this year yeah. if you bought it brand new this is how it would look Well, people are coming from several states with their tractors here, and to, to compete and get a prize, it has to be a 1960 or older, which would be classically designated as a vintage tractor. The antique tractors would be probably older than a 20, so they like car shows and everything have categories for what they're doing. So 
Basically, this is designed for wheel tractors that are 1960 or older. So we have a lot of the major manufacturers, and then within each of those manufacturers, we have uh, a multitude of models. One of the things on display was a Massey Harris Pony, a John Deere L, an Alice Chalmers G, and a Farmall Cub. And those would be four of the major manufacturer's small tractors. This was my grandfather's tractor he bought brand new in 1948. And so we were still a farming operation and we, I, we sold it, I got it back, and it's, it's the first, first time it's been running. It's only had about two hours on it since it's been going. So since, since then, I've had it 20 years and it's running now. So it is a Case VAO. It's made at least three trips from Woodland to Calusa and back on our Branch 158 Calusa Endurance Run. I take it plowing at local club events, on regular tractor drives. In the fall, we're going to go over the car ferry at Clarksburg. It's a, a 1949 uh, Alice Chalmers G. They were built down in, in Georgia by the Alice Chalmers Company, which their main plant was in uh, Milwaukee, and uh, they were for truck gardeners, we called them. Uh, people that had 10 acres and grew different fruits and vegetables. And they're only an eight horse, but they did quite a job for the farmer. Well, it's an international uh, 350 utility, and I've had it for, I don't know, about 20 years, and I've been coming here for uh, four years. This one's one of the better ones that I've ever been to. Nice people here, it's really a great time. I am daughter, wife, sister, sister-in-law to people who like tractors. I'm just here to support them and scream loudly. Um, I just have a lot of fun with it. I camp here with my kids, the kids get to drive the tractors, and um, I couldn't imagine not wanting to come back. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful event. It seems bigger than it was last year, and as more people find out about it, it's just gonna grow. It's oh, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's, uh, and I'm surprised it varies so much because you got folks that are new on the tractors and older guys that have been running them for years, and it, it really varies, and it's interesting to watch. Yeah, you got a lot of tractor games, rides, out here where we don't bother with traffic, beautiful weather. What else could you last for?